Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you to our piper, Daniel Nicholl, filmed at Dundonald Castle for that superb introduction to the Ayrshire Fiddle Orchestra's annual summer concert, which, for the second year, comes to you virtually and not from Air Town Hall. Thank you for joining us this evening, not just to those of you from Ayrshire, but also our many friends spread across the world, and thank you for your continued generosity and support. Welcome to our new friends who are perhaps watching the orchestra perform for the first time. I hope you all enjoy this evening's extravaganza of music, song and dance from Scotland. As we welcome the orchestra onto our virtual stage, I should perhaps point out that the sound you will hear in tonight's concert is not dubbed or a CD backing track. It is the actual sound of every one of our players, brought together and synced to create some wonderful tracks for you. A tremendous achievement for all. And you really have to applaud each and every one of these musicians for turning their homes into mini recording studios or recital halls during these past few months of lockdown. The commitment and dedication of our young players throughout this COVID pandemic has been amazing. Week after week, we have seen tremendous turnout of players tuning in to rehearsals via Zoom on a Saturday afternoon. Many players have not missed a single rehearsal over these past months, and tonight's musical spectacle is the culmination of all their hard work, brought together as one. Very ably assisted by our amazing team, directors Kathleen Terrace and Ellen Martin, musical director David Moore, assistant musical director Neil Ego, tutor Beth McClymont, and of course, our Honorary President, Wallace Gilbraith, MBE. I hope you enjoy tonight's virtual performance, our Summer Concert 2021. Would you please welcome the leader of the Ayrshire Fiddle Orchestra, Drew Seville. <laughs> and our musical maestro, the musical director of the Ayrshire Fiddle Orchestra, Mr David T Moore. Tonight's concert opens with one of David's own arrangements, Wheels of the World.
It's lovely to be with you all for our Summer Concerts 2021. And next, I'd like to introduce a Scottish slow air, The Lament for the Death of the Reverend Archie Beaton, composed by the late, great John M. Mason, who was a lawyer, fiddler and conductor and founder of the Scottish Fiddle Orchestra, who lived in Troon, but had been a native of the Orkney Islands. The Reverend Archie Beaton was minister of Dundonald Parish Church in Ayrshire and was a champion of the Gaelic culture, who died suddenly in 1971 at a Gaelic event. This arrangement is by our assistant musical director, Neil Ego, and is played by Drew, Emma and Ellie.
Over this last year, we have all been learning and communicating in new ways. Each player at the Ayrshire Fiddle Orchestra have adapted and worked very hard with these new online platforms and should all be extremely proud of themselves. Our next piece is one which we have rehearsed and learned in this new way, so sit back and enjoy Salute to the Corncasters. Changes that have come over me in these last few days. 
that's the reason why I seem so far away today. Oh, I'd like to tell you that I love you, and I think about you all the time. cellists in the orchestra. I have aspirations as a composer and so what you're about to hear is a jig I've written during lockdown. The jig is called the Squinty Bridge and there are two reasons for the name, because it's the nickname of the Clyde Ark in Glasgow and also because during the Fiddle Orchestra's 2019 tour to Japan, my cello's old bridge broke in two on the flight over. It had to be hastily glued back together before the first concert, leaving it slightly squint, I don't know if you can see it. Don't do this by the way, we only did this because it was an emergency. You should really go to a professional if an instrument breaks. And so miraculously it survived the whole two weeks and it stayed intact and it still does to this day. I hope you enjoy my piece. Thank you. 
The 32nd Olympiad will soon be taking place in Japan. During the orchestra's Rising Sun tour to Japan in 2019, we enjoyed visiting the Yokohama Stadium, which will be one of the venues for the Olympic Games, and which at the time was about to host the Rugby World Cup. Fond memories of our piper Daniel Nicol playing Flower of Scotland down on the pitch. Back in 2012, the Olympic Games were held in the UK and AFO were privileged to be involved in the celebrations when the Olympic flame and torch visited Ayrshire. In recognition of this unique event, our honorary musical director and renowned fiddle player Alistair McCulloch composed a special tune, the Olympic Air, in honour of the visit. And this was performed when the Olympic flame arrived at county buildings in Ayr, under police escort. We're now going to enjoy hearing Alistair's tune and film footage of the premiere of the Olympic Air from 2012 in Air Town Hall, conducted by Wallace Gilbraith. Look out for a few players who are still with the orchestra. You'll also see one or two brothers and sisters and an aunt of our current players. AFO are very proud of two Olympians who are former players of the orchestra and we'll introduce them during this clip. As we look forward to the Olympic Games in Japan and we wish Team GB well in their various events, I hope you enjoy the Olympic air.
So I'm now going to talk to you about the AFO Directors Award. This award is made at both of our main concerts, our Christmas concert and summer concert each year, to the member of the orchestra that we as directors feel has gone that extra mile in their commitment to the orchestra. Now, all of our players in this orchestra are hugely committed and enthusiastic in everything that the orchestra does, which does make this an almost impossible task. Now, I've just said to you that we award this twice a year. However, over the, the course of this pandemic, the award has remained in its box unawarded. So this year, rather than just giving it to one person, in these strange times, we've decided to award it to two players. Now, both of these players have been in the orchestra for about four years. Both of them have been on one big international tour with the orchestra. They both play in the same section. And they have both, during this difficult year, particularly have made a special effort to take part in all of our activities. And they both have a huge smile when they're asked to do anything, even if we've been asking them to redo something they've already done or asking them to be in the same place to record something for a small group and then stay in that same place and record it, the same thing with a different small group and then stay in that same place and record something else with a different small group, always with a smile. So in alphabetical order, the recipients of the AFO Directors Award June 2021 are Daniel Nicol and Ellie Priestnell. Congratulations to both of you. Now it's time to enjoy the sounds of our lower string section in three slow airs. The first one is the Star of County Down. The next one is Mary, Young and Fair, and finishing with Mrs Jameson's favourite. Enjoy.
Once restrictions began to ease in the last few weeks, we were able to bring some of our young musicians together to play live music for the first time in many, many months. Keeping with the guidelines, we had three groups of six over the course of a sunny afternoon in May, and we have digitally brought these performances together to present Mickey Ainsworth reels for the summer concert. We hope that in the not so distant future, we will have the whole orchestra back as a group, making live music once again. But in the meantime, here is Mickey Ainsworth. concert so far. We certainly had a lot of fun putting it together. Now we've been inspired by some of the wonderful sunset photographs posted online by APO's honorary musical director Alistair McCulloch. So we decided to accompany one of Alistair's compositions with some of our own West of Scotland sunset pictures. So starting and ending with an image of St Pete's Beach in Florida, here we have Sunset on St. Pete's.
it was very exciting to be able to bring together, while socially distanced, our dancers, Isla, Sylvia, Leona and Heather, to dance a Highland Fling. Thanks to all the staff there, they were able to meet at Dundonald Castle, which is celebrating its 650th anniversary this year and is truly one of Scotland's hidden gems tucked away in the quiet rural landscape in South Ayrshire. The 14th century hilltop fortified ruin is looked after on a daily basis by the Friends of Dundonald Castle, who also manage the attraction's visitor centre. One of Scotland's most unexplored and I think fascinating outdoor attractions, this heritage treasure was once the historic home to Scots King Robert II, grandson of Robert the Bruce. It boasts historic links to the Stuart dynasty, the Wallace family and the Cochrane's favourites of Charles II. Well worth a visit. Over the last 14 months, we've been fortunate to have the technology to continue to meet on a regular basis via Zoom. We have also been able to split into smaller groups during our Zoom rehearsals to work with separate sections of the orchestra individually. We are indebted to Ewan, who effortlessly organises us during these rehearsals and breakout rooms. I say effortlessly as when left to our own devices, David and I managed to make a complete hash of organising a rehearsal without Ewan's steady hand on mission control. Thanks very much, Ewan. At this point, it seems appropriate to mention the tremendous work Kathleen has put into producing this wonderful virtual concert. The amount of hours spent on collating, synchronising, editing the individual videos and then pulling everything together is almost immeasurable. It is easily in the hundreds of hours. Kathleen, your dedication to this project and attention to detail have made this concert a fantastic spectacle. We really appreciate all the time and effort you have put in. I have a bottle of champagne here for you as a token of our appreciation. But unfortunately, as I'm self-isolating at the moment, I'm not allowed out of the house. So I guess I will just have to drink this on your behalf. Thank you very much too, Kathleen. I mentioned the breakout rooms earlier, and in the rhythm section, we worked on a new piece that features pipes, accordion and flute, ably accompanied by percussion and guitar. It comprises of four tunes, The Lament, My Home, Hector the Hero, The City of Glasgow, Police Pipers, and The High Road to Linton. So ladies and gentlemen, here is Hector's home.
quite believe that's us almost at the end of our summer concert 2021. The second virtual summer concert that we've done through all of this. Thank you to all of you for joining us and watching this concert. It's so exciting and wonderful to see folk joining us from all over the world. From places that we've been and friends that we already know to places that we haven't been and friends we've yet to meet. Thanks for being with us to watch this. When I think back through the last year or so and all the rehearsals, the recordings, the practice sessions and concerts that our young folk have done, I'm sure that you'll agree that every one of them should feel proud of what they've achieved with AFO since the start of that first lockdown. Thank you players. Your hard work, amazing commitment and determination to keep going and keep AFO going is always wonderful to work with but has been especially so this year when we've only been able to do it virtually. Through all of this, AFO has never stopped and thanks to my fellow directors and music team, we've been able to keep Scottish music making within Ayrshire alive. And I'd like to just take a special second to mention Kathleen and Neil, who without them and their expertise, we wouldn't have these wonderful concerts with the quality of video and audio that they are able to put together. Thank you both of you. As I mentioned earlier on, this is a free concert. However, if you would like to support the orchestra, you can do that via our Just Giving page. You can also like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with what we get up to. And so, for our final item in the programme, a set of rip roaring reels arranged by John Mason, the Northlands and the Fire Hose Reel. <laughs> 